so let's start with the greedy approach greedy design technique so greedy uh, design technique gives the algorithm for the optimization problem with set of choices at each step so the definition uh, the appropriate definition for the greedy design technique may be an algorithm for optimization problem with the set of choices at each sorry at each step okay so here the word uh, uh, optimization means optimization problem means a problem which results in maximizing or minimizing something in the sense if you want to if uh, a certain uh, 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 project manager is there he want to pick the job with some profits so it will the responsibility of optimization problem to maximize the profit or minimize the risk in the organization or i can say that uh, to find the shortest path shortest path or uh, the path with which with the minimum cost or we can say the minimum uh, cost spanning tree so these types of problems have uh, uh, have uh, objective of minimizing or maximizing something so the optimization uh, problems are the problems with certain objectives of uh, maximizing or minimizing of certain attribute or constraints okay so uh, so the greedy algorithm is used for the optimization problems another design technique which is used for the similar type of problems are the dynamic programming so dynamic programming is also used to uh, solve the optimization problem so uh, sorry so the dynamic programming also uh, gives the solution for the optimization problems dynamic programming okay so greedy and dynamic two approaches are there which is generally used to solve the optimization problems greedy is uh, uh, does not uh, cover all the optimization problems so greedy have a smaller subset of problems but dynamic programming can solve all the optimization problems it may possible that some of the problems solved by the dynamic programming may take the exponential time but the solution may be provided by the dynamic programming greedy programming always results in a polynomial time uh, algorithm and these polynomial time are only applicable for a small set of problem so greedy technique does not guarantees you that it will solve every problem every optimization problem but the dynamic programming will solve the optimization problem and the some of the problems will uh, solve in polynomial time and others are solve in exponential time okay so let's define uh, some of the let's focus some of the definition of the greedy technique so we s we consider that every problem contains an objects uh, so the input uh, given for this type of problems are an objects and the output is the subset of an objects uh, which will satisfy any condition so the problem if if you define uh, the problem definition includes some input and output and some constraint uh, which will uh, result or which will uh, Uh, on which the output is uh, output will be dependent okay so the problem definition includes uh, uh, or which it tells you the uh, 
problem clearly so this definition is used to know the problem clearly okay second definition is for the solution space in the solution space uh, one second in the solution space all possible outputs uh, are given for a given input okay so for any problem the solution space provide the all possible outputs for the number of inputs which is passed feasible solution uh, are the solution that satisfy the condition the condition or constraint the given in the problem definition if this condition is satisfied then that solution can be uh, said to be a feasible solution and uh, the optimal solution is the feasible solution that satisfy the optimal condition so every problem may have the optimal condition uh, as i say you that uh, maximize or minimize the something so there is a optimal condition for every problem and if any feasible solution satisfy the optimal condition then which we call that solution as a optimal solution for example if uh, uh, if i have a problem to i write here if i have a problem to minimize to minimize a function fx is equal to x square okay suppose this is my problem i have a function fx is equal to x square and i want to minimize this function okay so <coughs> the problem definition include input so input is a any uh, uh, set of real numbers uh, and the output would be the optimal solution so suppose the optimal solution is zero i define the constraint for this function the constraint is uh, yeah the value of fx would always be less than 5 suppose this is a constraint and uh, for x star 0 the value of fx is equal to 0 and suppose this is my optimal solution for this problem so the so optimal solution is given uh, a constraint is given a set of inputs are given and the output is zero okay so uh, the solution space include the value for all real numbers on this function so if i uh, pass 0.1 then the square of this is 0.01 okay similarly if i pass uh, 1 the square of this is equal to 1 if i pass 2 the square of this is equal to 4 if i pass 3 the square of this is equal to 9 so 9 cannot be uh, included in the feasible solution because 9 is the 9 does not satisfy my condition but it is included in the solution space because 3 is also a real number okay so the solution space is 0.01 1 4 9 and so on we can define any number of uh, possible outputs okay now uh, we have to select the feasible solution which satisfy the constraint given in the problem so if i use fx is less than 5 then uh, in this particular sample i have three feasible solutions okay and now if i talk about the optimal solution then uh, one more feasible solution can be added as f of 0 which results in 0 so this is my optimal solution which is a which is also a feasible solution so optimal solution is a feasible solution which satisfy the optimality condition so by this example we can define uh, the optimization problem Uh, in which we have a solution space feasible solution and optimal solutions and one problem definitions also there now uh, let's define the uh, algorithm uh, prototype for the greedy technique okay so yes so for greedy technique and the prototype or control abstraction would be greedy technique contain number of n objects and for these n object we have a solution space which is empty initially we will search for i is equal to 1 to n all objects 
we select any object n of i we select each object and check whether this is feasible or not if it is feasible then we add this to the solution space to the solution of the problem it is not a solution space sorry it is a solution of the problem if it is feasible then we add it okay so so if for loop starts from here it will end here and the greedy approach will end here so at each iteration we have some choices uh, based on uh, local benefits and if we satisfy the choice then we add uh, the uh, object to my solution space or solution of the problem so greedy uh, technique always uh, have the minimum time complexity as order of n and the maximum time complexity for the greedy algorithm will always be order of n square okay so uh, this is the control abstraction for the greedy algorithm now uh, this greedy have uh, because it is it 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 always results in the solution of optimization problem uh, there are say very small set of uh, problems which is used to which is uh, which is solved by greedy approach now uh, i just enlisted some of the problem or i can say that applications of applications of greedy technique first is uh, we used to solve the job scheduling problem using the greedy technique second is activity selection selection these are somewhat similar problems activity selection third is real knapsack or fractional knapsack and uh, hoffman coding hoffman coding technique for compression and uh, single source sorted path and uh, minimum cost spanning trees and there are some more problems are there so generally we have this type of important problems which is uh, solved by greedy approach we will see uh, these problems in subsequent lectures one by one so <coughs> for this lecture we will learn about the optimization problems what is optimization problem then we uh, we uh, mm, we see that there are two approaches which is used to solve these optimization problem one is greedy and one other is dynamic greedy approach only apply applicable to some subset of problems this is not used to solve all the optimization problem while the dynamic programming is used to solve all the optimization problems but uh, there is a problem uh, with the dynamic problem that uh, for some problems it may results in the order of uh, 2 to the power n uh, time or it may result in the uh, exponential time to solve the problem which is not uh, of our interest so but uh, greedy uh, which uh, does not applicable to all the problems but it always guarantees that the solution would be in the order of n to the power k and the maximum time complexity taken by the greedy algorithm is order of n square so thank you very much for listening this we will uh, see all these problems in subsequent lectures thank you